For thousands of years, stargazers have known that the sun, moon, and stars are not the only celestial bodies in the night skies above Earth. Ancient stargazers recognized that there are other planets up there as well. Remember that a planet is a large celestial body that revolves around a star for light and heat. What they did not know is that these planets, like Earth, revolve around the sun. Astronomers now know of eight major planets, including Earth, that revolve around the sun. In addition, there are a number of dwarf planets, or little planets. The word solar is used to describe something that is related to the sun. For example, solar energy refers to the heat and light that come from the sun. Planets and other celestial bodies that orbit the sun make up what is known as the solar system. This diagram shows the eight major planets in our solar system. About the only thing these eight planets have in common is the fact that they all orbit the same sun on their own special path. Beyond that, each planet is unique, one of a kind, and different from any other. The first four planets you will learn about are called the inner planets, or the ones near the center of the solar system, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. Mercury is the closest planet to the Sun, and the smallest of the eight major planets in the solar system. Being the smallest and the closest to the Sun makes Mercury unique. Mercury can be seen from Earth, but it is hard to spot. You can only see it in the early morning or early evening. Most of the planets in the solar system are named after Roman gods and goddesses. Remember that the names of the constellations also came from Greek and Roman myths. The planet Mercury is named after the Roman god Mercury. In mythology, the god Mercury was very fast, so it makes sense that this planet is named after him. It takes just 88 Earth days for Mercury to complete a revolution around the Sun, so it is a quick little planet. Remember that Earth takes 365 days to orbit the Sun, so Mercury is much faster. Unlike Earth, Mercury does not rotate much. It spins on its axis just one and a half times during its revolution around the Sun. At first glance, you might notice that Mercury looks a lot like our moon with its rocky, heavily cratered surface. Mercury has some of the largest known crater impacts in the solar system, meaning that it has been hit by some very large rocks. In fact, some craters are about 50 miles wide. Mercury has no atmosphere to protect it like Earth does. Like they do to our moon, Rocks and debris just crash right into Mercury's surface, making the craters. And because it is so close to the sun, the surface of Mercury is very, very hot or very, very cold. Temperatures on the surface facing the sun can range anywhere from 300 degrees to nearly 1400 degrees Fahrenheit. On Earth, we consider 90 degrees Fahrenheit to be hot while the surface facing away from the sun can be as low as 350 degrees below zero. 32 degrees Fahrenheit is the temperature at which water freezes on Earth. Venus is the second planet from the sun. It is named after the Roman goddess of love. Aside from the sun and the moon, Venus is the brightest celestial object that you can see from Earth. Being the brightest object in our night sky makes Venus unique. It takes Venus roughly 225 Earth days to revolve around the sun. However, like Mercury, Venus does not rotate on its axis very fast. In fact, Venus actually rotates in the opposite direction that Earth does. Venus is sometimes referred to as the morning star or the evening star, because it often appears as a bright object in the evening sky or as a bright object in the morning sky. Venus is also known as Earth's sister planet because it is the closest planet to Earth, and the two planets are roughly the same size. Being a sister planet to Earth is another fact unique to Venus. Beyond that, however, Earth and Venus have very little in common. 
Venus's atmosphere consists of a very thick layer of clouds, so it is difficult for astronomers to study its surface. We do know, however, that the surface is very hot and dry. Venus's thick, cloudy atmosphere traps much of the sun's energy, meaning temperatures on the planet can soar to above 800 degrees Fahrenheit. That's really hot. You should recognize the planet in this photo. It's your home planet, Earth. Earth, the third planet from the sun. Earth is the only planet that does not take its name from a Roman or Greek god. The word Earth is an ancient word that originally meant ground. When the word Earth was invented, the people living here did not even know that it was a planet. This photo was taken by the astronauts of the Apollo 8 mission. They did not get to land on the moon, but they flew around it. One of the most important factors that sets Earth apart from other planets is the abundant supply of water. That means there is more than enough or plenty of water. Water is essential for life. Without water, there could be no living things like people, plants, or animals. Although some other celestial bodies in the solar system have some water, Earth is the only planet whose surface is mostly liquid water. Earth is also the only planet with an abundance of oxygen in the air, and oxygen is also essential for life here. Its supply of water and oxygen makes Earth unique. So after Mercury and Venus comes planet Earth, where we live. Mars is the fourth planet from the sun. Mars is named after the Roman god of war. Mars is often referred to as the red planet because of its color. Its red color makes Mars unique. Here, the word color means the tone you see when you look at something, such as red, blue, or green. You can see Mars from Earth, and even without a telescope, you can identify it by its reddish tint. The farther you get from the sun, the colder it is, and the longer it takes to complete a revolution or make one trip around the sun. It takes Mars 687 Earth days to revolve around the sun. It is interesting, though, that Mars rotates on its axis at about the same speed as Earth. Mars has two moons, but they are small and oddly shaped. One of them is pictured here. Astronomers believe that these moons are actually large asteroids or space rocks that became trapped in orbit as they passed by Mars billions of years ago. Because Mars is relatively close to Earth, astronomers from NASA have been able to send several spacecraft to explore that planet. NASA has sent several unmanned spacecraft to orbit Mars. NASA has also managed to Send several small robotic vehicles called rovers to explore Mars' surface. The photo you see here is the first color photo ever taken on another planet. It was snapped by the Spirit Exploration Rover. Most of the rocky surface of Mars is covered in a layer of rust, which is a reddish brown color. The rust explains why Mars appears to be red. NASA scientists hope to be able to send astronauts to Mars, but it may be many, many years before technology exists that might allow them to accomplish this or achieve this goal. Perhaps if you decide to be an astronaut when you grow up, you will be the first person to set foot on Mars. It will not be easy to put a person on Mars, but people used to think it was impossible to go to the moon, too. Mars is also unique because it is a celestial body we might be able to visit one day within our lifetimes.